Hi, welcome to Journey to Hydroponics. My name is Pat, and in this journey, we will grow radish from seeds. Radish has a lot of health benefits, which include vitamins, fiber, antioxidants, and other essential nutrients to improve immunity and digestive health. I usually grow radish as a microgreen and have previously videoed how easy it is to grow them. Radish grown as microgreens can be harvested in less than 10 days. But in this video, let us explore what happens when we plant radish up to maturity so that we can harvest its taproot. So let's start. As always, we begin with sterilizing the coco peat to help prevent the spread of harmful pathogens. You can do this by microwaving the coco peat for 3 to 5 minutes or by pouring boiling water over the coco peat. When the coco peat has cooled, squeeze out the excess water. I'll be using this kind of net cup I purchased a few years ago. Its diameter is about 5 inches wide and its depth is about 4 inches. You can also recycle 16 ounce cups and use a soldering iron to place holes in the side and on the bottom. The net cups or seedling cups will be placed on top of these recycled food jars. These are 2 liter recycled food jars and will be used later on to hold the nutrient solution. I drew a blue line which shows where the edge of the net cup is and I also wrapped aluminum foil around the jars to prevent light from passing through and which will eventually cause algae to grow inside. Fill up your seedling container with coco peat and moisten it with treated tap water. By the way, our tap water at home has chlorine, so before using water in hydroponics, I treat the tap water by leaving it in an open container for at least a day so that the chlorine can evaporate. Dig a hole about an inch and a half deep for the seed. Water it and cover the seed with coco peat. Moisten the coco peat with your treated water one last time. Afterwards, I like covering the containers with the lid to keep the moisture in and also for the seeds to germinate in darkness. On the third day, the seeds have sprouted, so I place the containers two to three inches under my LED lights. These LED lights are your ordinary ceiling lights and are about 16 watts. They give out around 2,500 lumen and over 5,000 Kelvin. These type of LED lights are sufficient for growing our radish plants indoors under my bookshelf. This is the sixth day. Make sure your coco peat remains moist but is not drenched with the treated water. Just water them when necessary. On the eighth day, you can now see a third leaf growing. So from here onwards, we bottom feed them with nutrient solution a little over the edge of the net cup or over the blue line. We are using one of the easiest and passive methods in hydroponics called the crack key method. When the roots are still short, you can fill the nutrient solution up to the edge of the net cup so that the coco peat will remain moist for the roots. When the roots are longer, such as this radish plant on day 16, the nutrient solution is filled 1 to 2 inches below the edge of the net cup. This is done so that top half of the roots are exposed to air while the bottom half are drinking the nutrient solution. I noticed that some of the seedlings were leaning over too much and I wanted to make it grow straight up. So 
I just inverted these old 2 inch net cups to serve as holders of the seedlings. On day 31, you'll notice I took out the support or holders on some of the radishes, which already had thicker stems. Don't forget to check the level of the nutrient solution every 2-3 to three days and refill when necessary. On day 59, I decided it's time to harvest the first batch of radish. Don't throw away the leaves because they can be used as a salad or cooked. The leaves have a crunchy, bitter, and peppery taste. So there you have it growing white radish from seeds. Thank you for watching Journey to Hydroponics. Till our next video. Bye-bye.